Welcome back guys. Welcome back to EdMTB TV. Today, uh, it's really going to be a little talk about an issue that I've had for quite some time and that is sciatica and how does it affect my mountain biking? Let's talk about it. Let's go. Peace. Right then, welcome back. Now, sciatica uh, and mountain biking. Is it a good mix? Not particularly. We're going to understand it's a back problem that some people may have or may not have. Um, basically, sciatica is um, a pressure on your big sciatic nerve that goes down your legs. Um, so with me, I've had it for quite some years now. I've been off work and, and I've, it's taken me out mountain biking here and there. Um, with mine, yeah, the below to the bottom of my spine, you have that little squeegee, that little squeegee tendons, or whatever they call it, just in between the, ver the vertebrae. What? What happens is that becomes inflamed and um, and it pushes down on, a, on the sciatic nerve so obviously when that pushes down that restricts some blood flow down to your legs and that's why you get pins and needles now since i've had sciatica i've had problems where i've um have the odd pain on my back now and again um just even little things like uh lifting things and not using the right body position it could be a tiny little thing when i go shopping and i get Something heavy, like, I don't know, not even heavy, like a, something like a water bottle, a pack of 12 or something, and then I, I put it down at the bottom of the trolley. That bend on my back sometimes can cause a twinge uh, on my back, and that's that's me, game over. Uh, so this is what's happened to me recently. Um, literally, the, the pain I'm getting is on my bottom left of my back. It's not even on the muscle, it, the pain is inside, uh, and it's a pain where I can't, walk the pain is just too much so sometimes i find myself uh either lying down um for long periods and then by the time i do get up that's when the pain starts going on again so uh sometimes when i lie down get myself in that position where i'm on my happy medium where i don't feel much of the pain the pain's there but i don't feel much of the pain when i'm sort of comfortable ish um and I dread having to actually get up and use the toilet. That's the only thing. Um, it takes a while for sciatica to, to go. Because um, it doesn't happen overnight. It's with rest. You need rest uh, to try and get that, um, that nerve sort of become uninflamed, if you, if you want to call it. Um, so rest, plenty of rest. Now, when it comes to mountain biking, um, what I do try to do before I do go out mountain biking is do some back stretches um, with I've been uh, given by a physio from before when I first had sciatica. So these um, stretches are quite important because if you look at it, when you're actually down on your bike, you're bending over, your spine is basically is going, it's going forward and it's not going on its natural neutral position and it's putting a lot of pressure on your lower back not you just your lower back it's actually it could be from the top back top bit of your back and on your back of your neck so it's it's important to do some stretching plenty of google sort of images and you know youtube videos you can have a look at back stretches it's difficult because i always have to make sure that i'm not doing anything too silly um, when I'm riding down on the trails. I know sometimes as well, it takes me off my, my jumping skills. I know I want to do some jumps, but anyhow I land awkwardly, that's my back done in. Um, so I'm a little bit, I suppose, scared really, because, you know, if I do my back in again, it's it's not nice. I mean, I've, I've had two or three episodes of, uh, three, I've had two or three episodes of sciatica when I've been off work and 
and there's times where I just twinge my back. It could be, it could be just bending over, picking something up on the floor. That could cause it. That could cause the twinge on my back, and that's me done for two, two weeks or so. Two, maybe in three weeks. So, currently, I am um, struggling to go out, but obviously I have to go out to do shopping pick up the kids, drop off the kids to school, all that kind of thing that you do if you're a parent. But at the moment, uh, I can't go on ride. Um, my bike is behind a camera. I'm just looking at it. Uh, not much I can do. I've got to wait at least a good two, three weeks, maybe even a month for me to fully heal properly. And that's the thing. Some people are just lucky not to have sciatica. And some people are unlucky to have sciatica which is unfortunately what I've got. Um, so it's having to deal with that problem. Um, I don't think it's a problem that is ever gonna go away. Most people who suffer from sciatica always have that ongoing problem. It always comes up, always creeps up on you at some point. I think sometimes it's when you least expect it, that's where it happens. Um, like I said before, just a little thing like picking over, maybe taking a, the bean out, side you know what i mean bending over that's that's it um and it's not something you always do it's not natural for you to be thinking about that all the time because when it, something's there and you want to pick it up you just want to bend over and pick it up and not think about you know doing your whole right body posture and you know manual handling that kind of thing you know if you're at work manual handling is a big thing um so yeah that's that's i mean for me i'm i'm pretty crap with with that kind of thing i don't don't remember that kind of thing do you you just you don't think about it you just want to do do the thing whatever you got to do if you're going to pick something up i'm going to pick something up so that's what causes uh, the issue i have with my back so yeah that's pretty much covers um the issue that i've got with sciatica um some of you guys may suffer from it as well and have a similar experience to me if you do please drop a message down, let me know how you're getting on and how you're coping with it and the measures that you take um, for when you go out riding. Um, for me, I wish I never had it, but you know what? I've been giving it, I have it, I have to cope with it and it's something that I've got to accept. Um, just like anything else in life, yeah, whatever you have, accept it, yeah, Look at it in the eye and say, I'm going to do you, yeah? I'm going to overcome whatever that is and move on. Move on with your life. So that's it. Anyway, I'll tell you what, that took a lot of brain power <coughs> for me to, uh, oh, that just hurts. Another thing when I cough, man, the pain. Whoa. Hope you enjoyed the video. Um, if you suffer from the similar or the same problem as me, sciatica, uh, I want you to drop your comments on the section below and let me know how you get on and what sort of precautions and measures that you take uh, that you do before a ride or in your everyday life. You don't have to, but anyway, it's there for you to use if you want to. And that's it from me. I'd like to thank you for watching. And I'll see you again next time on my next video. Peace. Ah.